Hello everyone, this is Terry Honeycutt with My Photo Borders. I have a new design I want to go with, with everyone. This is um, our Soccer Game Day edition. This is a spin-off from our first soccer one that we did. And this one just has um, the uh, impact here with the uh, chunks of uh, dirt and grass. Kind of give it a, a cool effect. So basically it's very similar to our previous designs that we've done. Um, so just go ahead and let's get started. The first three layers at the top, these are your text layers. And to update those, generally just double click on the letter T. And that will highlight the text and then you can just type and replace it. On the uh, text box at the bottom, um, if you double click here in the lower right hand corner, this will open up the uh, color picker and then from here you can um, change the, uh, the box color down there. As far as the uh, stroke around it, if you double click on the FX over here to the far right, click on stroke and then click on color, this will open up the color picker as well. And if you want to apply a stroke around the edge, you can do that. The main part of this design is updating the logos. And let's go ahead and start with, um, I'll just open this, the right soccer ball here. So uh, each ball is in its own group. And if you um, expand the group here, you'll look down here and you'll see um, highlighted in lavender, a layer that says change right logo here. So if you double click that, that's going to open up the uh, logo file. And I'll go ahead and do that now and show you how to update the logo. What you want to do is hide this logo here. And I have another logo open that we'll use as an example. Uh, I'm going to on my PC I'm going to hold down my shift key click my left mouse button and I'm going to drag this over to the um, smart object file and then if it comes in big or small you'll need to scale your logo down uh, to fit your design so let's just start with that and then you need to save this and it'll update it on the template so let's go back and take a look there we go. So let's bring it on down a little bit. I like to fit it in between the um, octagon patterns there. So let's bring it on down. Save it. Okay. Right. Maybe a little bit more. All right, I'm going to save that. All right. I can live with that. Maybe shift it to the left just a little bit. So if you want to center it, then you'll just need to kind of play around. Depending on the shape and size of your logo, just move it around. Uh, hit save, then go back and look at the template. So let's go ahead and uh, stay with that. And then the other features of the ball is you can change the color of the ball. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. So the actual ball color is here where it says soccer ball color. If you click on this, you can change it. So let's say we want to go maybe purple here there we go we'll try to match the logo just say okay and then there is a uh, center pattern color here uh, I've added if you notice you'll see a little bit of gray here or a little bit of white from the ball showing through and so if you want to change that uh, just go ahead and make it for here I'm gonna make it the ball color so that way it blends in better and then the actual um, the patterns here on the ball you can double click here where it says soccer ball pattern color and let's make it the color of his um, so let's bring it down a little bit darker All right, well, that's close enough alright so that's how you would update that uh, the actual ball itself so there is a lot of flexibility here. That is pretty much it as far as updating the ball goes. You would do the same thing on the left soccer ball. Uh, one last thing is if you want to make this into a yard sign, the current document is uh, 16 by 24. So yard sign is typically 18 by 24. So you can come up here and go to image, canvas size, change this to inches. Instead of 24 by 16, we will change the height to 18. 
There you go, and that will give you a um, 18 by 24. So um, if you have any questions um, about the design, please feel free to shoot me an email or reach out on Facebook as well. Thank you very much, and have a great day.